I think there's just a lot of things people didn't understand about like having everything on paper, like in, in to an audience. Yeah. doesn't mean you have everything in your life. True. And, uh, and that's the deciding factor for me not to jump right into this, but of the course. like, yeah, that was like the shifting point where I was like, I don't have anything. You know what I mean? So is that how you felt? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, for sure. Really? Like, at a certain point. Like, okay. Yeah. What, what, once you've like conquered, uh, everything all the check boxes you want to check and then like you're like oh i'm not happy i'm not close to my family i don't have friends i don't have like hobbies i don't have a life you're like yeah. it's, i'm not creating things that make me like super stoked and passionate about true like, it was, sounds corny but like, when did you start feeling that probably like around my last year i'd say okay it's hard to i'm so bad with time but <laughs> yeah yeah year maybe a year and a half okay. probably of like before I ended up selling the company. Um, but uh, yeah, it was just like a lot of, cause obviously we lived in um, a house with a lot of people mm. and like it was starting, I think it was like, Oh, I need to fucking get away from this a bit. And okay. so I can start figuring that out. So I started spending a lot of time just like in my room, but there's still the party happening. There's still the noise. There's still 12 people living in a house and it yeah. just got a little too, uh, too much and then I became very um happy being alone which like I I now I've learned now that I've grown I feel like is not a good thing either like okay I think you know some people say like I always forget the word but like what's the word for like uh if you're good in like groups of people or you're like oh I'm more uh, introvert introvert, introvert. Yeah. yeah sorry and uh but I, I think that that shouldn't just be a word people say like oh I'm just an introvert it's like that's like you have some shit you gotta like deal with if you're True. like an introvert because Cause you can become kind of happy being an introvert and it's just like by yourself, by yourself. And I think that that leads to like a fucking dark hole. Like yeah. you can't get into that. So, so you kind of realized that you were, you were, you realized you wanted to be alone. Then you were alone for a bit. And yeah. then you said, wait, that's not that good for me either. Yeah. Exactly. And do you think that you wanted to be alone because you were always just surrounded by people at all the time? Yeah. I think everything else was chaos. So mm. I would look forward to uh like, I'm a big movie guy. I fucking like, it was just like, being alone and being able to watch like it was like anything that was like calm yeah I fucking like was pulling toward and i and i enjoyed but really all i was doing was just like um like numbing my reality if that makes sense no you're, and, you're and, like, right and was there anybody that you consulted with when you started having the thoughts like okay maybe i gotta make make my move like i, I gotta make my great escape if you want to call it well that kind of leads into the other points i was saying with like um you have everything, but you have nothing. Uh. That was also around the time that I kind of pushed family away, pushed friends away, pushed all that away. So okay. then when I was at like a pretty dark point, I felt like I also didn't have that. Yeah. So like, that's why it was like, it was like a no brainer that like I had to change something. I'm like, okay. I can't just continue doing this. So yeah, uh, yeah. It is just, it's so wild, dude. I was just thinking like, like a few weeks ago, like, or like, or like last night or whatever, two nights ago, we had a fight night here. And it yeah. was just like, it hit me that like fucking, it's like got my skate homies come over, like friends and family, like all the family that work here, like we're all family here. And it's mm -hmm. just like, I don't know, it's pretty cool. It's like, I just worked on whether it was like health, fitness, my mental health, but also like, it's a weird thing to work on, like, oh, get friends or yeah. work on your relationship with your family and shit. But like, it's pretty, it was like, it like hit me the other day. I was like, fuck, it's like, I'm just like happy. And I built this whole other life. And, uh, but people just see like the business you're doing or the videos you're doing, but like, and they kind of judge your, uh, like that's the currency that everyone sees. And yep. that's, that's like how much success you have. But like, I'm just more realizing like, fuck all that other shit, put it aside for a second. Like what I've built for myself and how happy I am now is like, it was like a milestone for me, if that makes sense. Of course. But, I mean, yeah. yeah, go ahead. But, but like before, because I, I really want to understand like when the idea for Sunday was birthed. But mm -hmm. before that, I, I want to understand and You let me know how much you can talk about it. Like, yeah. How was or what was that conversation, let's say, with Kyle or, or, or the full send team? Like, what was that conversation like when you finally were like, OK, I think I'm out of here. It was like. Was it a one-on-one? -on -one? Was it kind of... It's so hard to, to look back because it was such a long process. Okay. Yeah. So there was goods and there was bads throughout the whole thing. Okay. And I also 
like even if there was some some bad blood or some arguments or whatever it's like now that i'm at where i'm at looking back i have like no bad blood for anything it's just like because i also see that like there's probably things that like was shitty that i did too you know what i mean and like i get that like whenever i was like not feeling a certain video we're doing or like another fucking trip or like whatever we were doing i do get the point that it's like the rest of the team or kyle or any of the guys on full send and elk boys was like they have to do the heavy lift now on like doing that. So like me being, having anxiety or being depressed or whatever, isn't just an excuse to be like, well, do you, you keep the ship going. You know yeah. what I mean? So if I had any part to kind of be like, um, kind of come to a conclusion on that, it's like, I think like it's, there's definitely not like I'm sitting here like, oh, it was fucked up. And then I had to dip. It was more like I was just going through some shit yeah. and like I needed to shift my life. And, uh, and, uh, I just think that, yeah. Does that kind of answer it? Yeah. So I guess it wasn't necessarily, it did. It wasn't necessarily one conversation. It was yeah. just over a period of time, maybe some yeah. good, some bad, but ultimately I'd say, yeah, that's the best way yeah. to say it. Do you it. think that there's a lot of like high level creators out there that, that face that, that kind of, you know, depression or anxiety from that kind of lifestyle and 100%. they just stick to it though? Yeah. I yeah. think, I mean, and that's why they also say about like YouTuber burnout and yeah. Like, I also think that that's just, that's just life. Like no matter what it is, it doesn't matter if you're in YouTube, like True. there's burnout. Like yeah. you work at a job and you're trying to make your way up, but like you fucking hate what you're doing or you love what you're doing, but it changes or like yeah. you're not moving up the ladder or um, your interests change or like whatever it is. Right. And like, I think that burnout is just something that happens. And at a certain point, if you're not happy, making a switch to something that will make you happy is just a, it's kind of like the energy that's like building in Sunday that we're trying to like, like we've been talking about like taglines and like what is our brand message and what are we trying to actually do here? What's like the motive behind it all. And like, it's like kind of birthing that, like Mm -hmm. that energy of uh, taking a chance on something else and leaving something that's comfortable. And, uh, and it's, it's pretty cool because like, all the first founders of like Sunday, all the first people that worked here all have similar stories. Like Josh was in medical school, like, and then he just like dipped and he's like, no, I believe in your vision. Like let's fucking do this. And like Tyler was in finance and he's like, he's always wanted to be a designer and he just dipped and did this. And it's like kind of starting to see like a cycle of that. There's a, there's a lot of that. We noticed that too with a lot of people. They're just scared to take that, that jump. And I think you even took that jump at like the highest level, Mm -hmm. right? It's not like you, you, you know, you quit, working at mcdonald's to go yeah be a painter you know like <laughs> you did something huge right at the highest yeah. level so i think it's inspiring a lot of other creators or other people out there like you said your own team yeah to make that jump yeah and if that could be a message of a brand to like force people to like not force but push people to like take that jump of course if they're not happy like if they yeah. really believe in the, like what they want to do and not being afraid of it, like like it's going to be fucking hard you yeah. know what i mean yeah. and it's like just do it 